Georgia bear season we got rained on all night the night before the opener so we didn't have any tracks yesterday well uh, we hunted from the rain finally quit mid morning we started riding looking for sign around nine o'clock we were never able to find anything we looked till way later on in the afternoon never found anything so the rain held off yesterday afternoon and all night we hope the hurricane it looks like it's gone and we don't have to deal with it anymore this weekend. And uh, it's day two, and we are headed to try to find a fresh track. We just left the camp. Hopefully we got something that uh, that moved last night. Maybe it'll be a big one. I'm on the Willie Brown way up here at the Garbage Can and Cow Creek intersection. Where you at, Jake? I'm on the long road, tracking to the back gate. Now I'm gonna turn around and come back to the other creek. Yeah, y'all work your way this way. Temple, I'll look to Willie Brown back towards deep drain and all. Me and Landon are running to some, each other somewhere along through there and then we'll just come out the houses and come over there. All right, day two. It's uh, a little before nine. We've been riding since daylight trying to find a track. Uh, I think Brad and Robbie's found, finally found a track. It's gonna be worth putting a few dogs on and see if we can't get get a better look at the bear. See if he, if it is a good bear. And uh, they've called us and told us on the radio to all head their direction. And so they're on no piece of property that we have just to the east of us from where we're at now. And uh, we're gonna quit looking for tracks for right now and go meet up with them and see if we can't get some dogs out and uh, get them on the bear, baby. All right, still day two. Robbie and Brad found a big track. We just got dogs out for the first time this season so far. And uh, we're starting to hear them barking. Uh, didn't take long. I believe they've got him stopped on the ground. They, we're sending dogs in, they've got him. Sounds like he's on the ground anyway, we ain't sure yet. One of more in a few minutes.
Come on, hit him now. Oh, 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 oh. He's dead. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. Chip. Oh, 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 oh. Nice bear. Chip got a nice bear, about 300 pounds, maybe a little less. We'll be back. Yeah, we're going to get the bear. I'll come get you when we get close, okay? Hey. Ah, bear down. We've drug him through the water as far as we could. It was a little easier dragging. No, we done broke out a little easier help right here. So I'll check this out. We got us a winch that uh we can bring in here in a long rope, a little gas powered winch. And uh this thing right here is cat's meow for pulling these old big bears out of swamps. Pull him to the end of your rope. And you just unhook your winch from your tree that you were tied to. Towed it to the slack end of the rope. A lot easier, Aunt James. Yeah, a lot easier. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, the winch is back on. It's a slow go, but it goes. Drag him along. All you have to do is just keep some leads tied to him so you can kind of guide him over some stumps. Drag him right on to the hill. We headed to the truck one. Oh, yeah. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you.